So guys, I didn't make this video earlier, but Dennis Lebedev beat uh, Wilson or, or beat Mike Wilson uh, yesterday. It was on Sky Sports in Monte Carlo. Uh, and now he's in line to fight Alexander Usyk. Dennis Lebedev's a very skillful fighter, a very good fighter. Um, you know, he's probably seen better days. I think he's a bit old. You know, a lot of, you know, there was a lot of criticism, especially from the Sky Sports commentators, that although he won the fight easy, uh, it was a massive, he won it quite comfortably, massive margin. He probably won every round. Uh, you know, Lebedev was a class above Mike Wilson. But most people were expecting him to make a statement, which he didn't do against uh, Mike Wilson. Most people were expecting him to knock Wilson out and, and make a statement and, and, and show that he's still got a... He's still got a massive part to play in the cruiserweight division. Um, apparently, Usyk's people were there. Uh, firstly, I'll talk about the fight. Yeah, it was, you know, Lebedev dominated every round. The other guy was game. He was tough. He, he came to fight, but he just wasn't in the same class as, um, as a Lebedev. You know, Lebedev's been around. He's, you know, he knows he's, he's very skillful, like I said. He knows his way around the ring. Um, but to go back, Usyk's people were there. So that talk about Usyk moving to heavyweight, I don't know how much how much Usyk wants to move to heavyweight because if if his people were there, do they want to fight Denis Lebedev? It doesn't make sense to me why Usyk would be thinking about a fight at cruiserweight. But from listening to Eddie Hearn and listening to all those people, that Usyk might consider staying at heavy, cruiserweight. But that makes you think: is he worried to go over to heavyweight because he thinks those guys are too big? And he doesn't want to lose because at Cruiserweight, really, there's nothing for him to do. You know, we saw, you know, a guy that fought him in Michael Hunter go up to heavyweight. Yes, not fighting at the elite, elite level, but him knocking out, you know, Bacoli and Ustinov. I do think Usyk with his skill set could cause many heavyweights nightmares. Uh, but I don't understand why Alexander Usyk would want to stay at, at cruiserweight to fight Denis Lebedev. It just doesn't make sense. You know, I think he would beat Denis Lebedev easily. De Denis Lebedev, for me, is a fighter well past his prime now. Uh, and I think, you know, that would be an easy fight. I don't know what he'd be gaining from that fight. I think really the challenge for now for Usyk is not to fight guys like, you know, fighters like Denis Lebedev who are well past their sell-by date, but to fight guys like Dylan White, Anthony Joshua, Guys of that level, guys that are going to test him because at the minute, you know, fighting guys like a 39 year old in Dennis Lebedev isn't going to do anything for his career. I think it's an easy win. I don't think Dennis Lebedev is, isn't, you know, a, no longer at that level where he can compete with a new sick. I think even Dennis Lebedev in his prime would have, would, would struggle against someone like Alexander Usyk. Um, so I just, I just think that, you know, he'd beat Lebedev easy if that's the fight he's looking at next. Uh, I think the, Usyk really needs to go to heavyweight if he wants to be challenged because I think Usyk is so good that it's going to be very difficult for anybody to challenge him at cruiserweight because Alexander Usyk is too good. I think Lebedev has no chance. Um, and I think, you know, if he was to fight Usyk, Lebedev, I think he gets stopped. I think he gets stopped. I think Usyk will only get challenged at heavyweight. He needs to move to heavyweight. But yeah, guys, leave your thoughts about, you know, the Dennis Lebedev's performance. Do you think he's a player at cruiserweight or do you think he's old and past it? Uh, how do you think Lebedev will get on against Usyk? Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.